So basically, I was just going to, uh, because there has been quite a lot of discussion about these image filters uh, this week. Um, so I just want to show you a little bit about, well, basically what's possible. Um, when we were doing this, uh, we found this, well, basically undocumented hook called register image operations, uh, where you can register uh, filter operations uh, in your Maxil hooks. Uh, that's pi. Uh, and every one of those is basically a, a pillow uh, image. So it's a it's a it's a willow operation where you um, where you have a function that takes in a pillow image and basically returns another pillow image after you've done something with it. Um, then uh, you have this uh, filter operation with a construct and a run that basically runs this function. Um, so I had a little fun and made a couple of filters just so I could show you how this works. So we have like grayscale and we have clip and mirror and a couple of things. And all you have to do is basically use the current image tag and you can then just add stuff to the back of it. So here we have an image. It's basically, yeah, it's a normal image of some landscape. And we want a grayscale version. So then you can just add grayscale here and you have a grayscale version. Um, and you can, uh, because of how these work, you can just daisy chain them. So you can just add more if you want. So you want a you know, grayscale one that's flip and mirrored. Then you have something that's the other way. Um, I mean, many of these filters are not really usable. I mean, they don't make sense in most use cases, but there are cases where you can use them. And it's things like watermarks. It's things like uh, like a multiply, for us at least. Uh, so for for this kind, I, I want to try to um, like add variables. So we can actually just do multiply and then add any hex variable that you want. So multiply this with a gray color. Then you get like a grayish background thing. If you want to go crazy, you can go with completely red and you can just, so you can just play around with this. Um, and just to kind of um, end this, uh, I did try uh, to do a little bit of masking as well. So I have a image that is basically a grayscale image uh, of a watercolor mask. So you then you can just add watercolor, and then you'll get something that's completely different just by masking out out things like this. Um, yeah, this uh, Kuhn was doing some documentation on this, um, so hopefully we'll have some documentation on this registered image filter. <laughs> And uh, and there was also some work done on uh, creating a hook that kind of bypasses all this all this boilerplate. So yeah, hopefully someone can use some of this.